Some of you more experienced friends of mine, you're probably wondering why I even bother to have these little segments I call bodybuilding nutrition because uh, I know you're, you're well versed in this area, but a lot of the kids don't know. And, uh, you know, I see them all the time in the gym and they're asking each other when they're done working out, where are we going to go eat? <laughs> they're going to go catch a burger somewhere, but uh, they want to know. So I know it seems simple for you and me, but it's not for them. And uh, another thing, you know, for us older bodybuilders, a lot of them, most of them, don't realize that we do need fat now and, and they don't realize more importantly and this is this is the really the cutting edge now is that the science is telling us in 2015 that we need saturated fat our bodies need saturated fat now I'm gonna cook a healthy dish tonight it's a simple dish it's not you know any revelation but it's gonna be a little bit odd to people that are fanatics as far as carbs and simple carbs and uh, fat. Now I'm going to use 73% hamburger and people are going to cringe at that. But I'm in a growth mode. I'm trying to put on size. My body needs fat right now. To grow muscle I need fat. Okay? And I'm not trying to gain any kind of weight. I'm trying to put on solid muscle. But, you know, who eats all the low-fat foods? Fat people. It's screwing up their hormones. We need fat. We need saturated fat. So there are hormones that are produced the way they're supposed to be produced. And if we want to gain muscle, we've got to ingest fat with our protein. You can't even digest protein without fat. I'm not saying do this all the time, but right now I'm trying to put on mass, good mass, that I'm going to keep. Now just look at how milky this tap water is. Now what do you think that is in there? That's sediment. That's, that's minerals. And they're inorganic minerals. Minerals that we cannot absorb. It's rock. That's why I'm going to pour this crap out. And I'm going to boil my rice with bottled water. Now I probably poured off maybe half a cup to three quarters of a cup of grease from that meat. So I don't have to ingest that, but I've got what I need left in this meat. It's, it's not dry, okay? Now I'm also going to cook one pound of fresh green beans. And with that, I'm going to chop up three zucchini. I've got four cups of white rice boiling. Why do I eat white rice, rice instead of brown rice? Remember, traditional Chinese medicine says it's easier to digest and I can tell you from experience, it's easier to digest. Mammy's having some of the rice with the ground hamburger here before I add in the vegetables. And she's making a mess. She's, that stuff's going everywhere. It's like I'm going to have to clean the floor. Okay, here's the finished dish. We've got four cups of white rice, about a pound and a quarter of 73% hamburger. We've got a pound of green beans and we've got three zucchini. Now this, I'll be surprised if I have this tomorrow night at this time. I will probably have eaten all of this. A little, a little alert, a little tag at the end of the video here. It's the, it's the 14th of January. I just received this this morning. It's concerning stevia. The uh, Food and Drug Administration uh, sent this to uh, Optimum Nutrition, who uses stevia in their products. And uh, I'll just kind of give you the short, the short end of it here. Uh, therefore, stevia is an unapproved food additive that is unsafe under Section 409 of the Act. The presence of stevia in your products, Natural Opti soil, Soy 50, Natural Pro Complex, and Natural 100% Egg Protein renders these products adulterated under Section 402A2C of the Act. 
Now what do we do now? We, we not, now we're being told that stevia is unsafe by the FDA. We have no other options unless we go back to cane sugar, um, honey, all, all these that are not processed, uh, molasses. That's, that's really, we're, we're right back to where we started uh, 200 years ago. So uh, I know we, we keep trying to recreate things that we already have. So now Stevie is up for uh, investigation.